everyone, Sarah back again today and I am playing with the Be Kind kit from Color Rush Studio. And I am going to use some items that I fussy cut previously. Um, right there, actually, when I set that butterfly piece to the right hand side is when I decided I was going to use this. And I am attempting to find something to go behind it because I don't want it sitting just on white cardstock. I want more pattern paper there. And there's so many beautiful papers in this collection, in this kit, that I really wanted to use more of them. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out what I'm going to use. Um, and it does take me a minute or two, but that yellow pops so much behind those. The I like the plaid as well um of the yellow but it just is too light the brightness of that full yellow i think makes them pop a little more and it's darker than the actual yellow butterfly on the bottom um i actually grab my distress tool and start distressing the edge of this i'm going to flatten it out and distress it even more um the only thing I don't like about a distress tool is that it creates a mess on my desk and my first reaction is to always blow it away and most of the time I have things already laying there and it blows them away. So I guess that's that's my own issue. <laughs> I still have it and I still use it, but usually I use my fingernail. Um, I just happen to have that out, so it worked. I went ahead and cut a strip of the blue uh, plaid paper and stuck it underneath. Um, you know, I do my cutting instead of my ripping because I can control that. It works for me. Um, I went ahead and put a layer of the off-white paper that has like tone-on-tone -tone writing and stuff behind my photo. And right here, I'm trying to find another layer. I was going to use that green piece up there to the right, uh, but I decided against it. I really love this bingo card, and the bright pink goes with the flower, so I figured I would mat my photo on that. This is actually a picture of my oldest daughter from last spring. We had gotten out and went to go play and run around and we had went to a place locally that has, that's a natural bridge, that's a tree um, and they've made it into a bridge. It goes over some water and the whole park that we went to has, I think it was in Gone with the Wind. So we, like I said, we had, it, it was pretty local. We had just gone to the next town over and uh, went to the park and it was fun. So yeah, that's what this picture is. She wanted to sit up there on it and get a picture. So I went ahead and did that. Um, I grabbed a couple of the tags that I uh, cut out from one of the cut apart sheets previously and stuck them behind my photo. I like the way it looks. So yes, they're going to stay. But I started adding other embellishments, but decided I needed to go ahead and adhere this down. So that's what I'm going ahead and doing. I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to both of these pieces of paper. Again, I leave area, so if I want to tuck things under, I can. And I went ahead and adhered those down. Here, I pulled some um, ornate gold, ornamental, I, ornament gold. I always mess up on the, the name of it. Chroma Mist from my stash and added that to the background. I like the way it looks. I like the, the shine that it gives. And here, I am putting some fun foam from my stash on the back of my butterfly piece that I would fussy cut out. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that down right away too because I know those are things that I want to use so I'm not going to change that. And so I figured I will go ahead and add these right away. And from here, you know, I can play and put things on top and add stuff. I'm going to add some foam to the back of my photo because I am putting it over a leaf um, and I want it to be level. I won't glue that down yet though because I have to make sure to get my um, tags under there. This is a piece I had fussy cut out. I think for the last layout that I was doing, um, and I didn't end up using it, so I'm going to end up using it here on this layout. Of course, I'm roughing up the edges of my tags. I'm sticking some adhesive on them and sliding them underneath my photo and the mats that I have on it so that I can turn around and even, you know, glue my, my photo down itself. I thought I was going to add a blue one in there, and I thought I was going to use some of these pieces. You'll see me try to use one in a minute, but I think for what I'm doing right now, it would be too much color, and I really thought about cutting them apart and decided against it. Um, I still may do that in the future. We'll see. But they're so cute. I don't want to mess them up. Um, <laughs> here I am adding some little stickers from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet, some of the florals from the ephemera pack, and I did cut it in half. Um, and then these are stickers from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet as well. Those are some of the um, butterflies that I had fussy cut out from one of the papers in the kit. 
And there I tried to use it, but it's so dark against all the lightness on this one, I decided against it. I also thought about adding a little bit of white gesso or something like that, or watered down white paint, just to lighten it up a little bit. But I think, I think I'll be able to use them just fine. Um, I went ahead and added some foam behind this, so I had some dimension down on the bottom right-hand side. And I glued it down. And really, I'm playing with the butterflies because I can't figure out where I want them. Um, that yellow one doesn't stay there. It moves. The blue and the yellow one from the top of the photo and their switch places. That one goes back where it was. <laughs> I just am kind of playing with where they are and where I want them to be. As you see, I keep moving them back and forth. So, yeah, I'm having some issues at the moment. I couldn't figure out where I wanted them. And then I looked at some of them layered and I was like, ooh, that's cute. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> So, because the first thing I wanted to do is run the layered ones through my sewing machine. So, um, but I was not pulling out my sewing machine right now. I'm so close to having this layout done and the layered ones would kind of change the way the layout looked. And that means I'd have to sew a lot more of them together and change more about the layout um, because I saw it differently with the layered butterflies. So I decided to continue going. I pulled out some more of the word stickers from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. The first one says, uh, stay wild and free, stop and smell the flowers, bloom and grow, you belong among the wildflowers and happy. And that's just kind of how that day felt. We were so excited and so happy because it was bright and it was sunny and we could play and there was water and there was flowers blooming. It was just a blast. And to be able to be outside and walk around and go do stuff was great. And we fed some uh, ducks that day as well. So it was a lot of fun. Here I'm sticking some of my um, fun foam on the back of my butterflies so that their wings stay popped up just so there's a little dimension to them um, around the layout. Here I am sticking some, getting the glue to where it sits on top of the butterfly um, with that little pink thing that's on top of the doily just so that they stay together. Um, that's why I stuck my embossing powder on top of it just to hold it while it's sitting there and I can continue going. Um, I added some more foam adhesive to the back of really most of these butterflies just so that they were popped up a little bit. And um, I'm just kind of going through and trying to figure out what else I'm going to do. And I so love the frazzles and ribbons. And this has got little bumblebees on it. And it is the cutest. So I decided I was going to use it to put through my tags instead of regular twine or anything. I figured I'd use this cute ribbon that had little bumblebees on it. I thought it was adorable. Um, and I'll cut it and trim it up here in a second. Here, I mess up. I pull too hard and I ripped my tag. So I went a different way and I could not find my stapler at this point. So I tucked it in through and put glue on the other side and tacked it down. And I'm going to fix this one and do the same thing with it so they look pretty much the same. Um, but yeah, I messed up and pulled way too hard. So if you do that, be careful. But I still like the way that it looks. Um, I sat my hole punch or my circle punch on top of it just so that it would have some pressure to stay down where it's supposed to be. Trimming my ends at an angle. And let's see what else. I am. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I put that chipboard butterfly up top. I added some glue to it and that finished it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this process video. Make sure to go check out ColorRushStudio.com and grab your kit while you can. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!